Oh, we start out about three sets of the bar. Move up to 135. Here we go. When you're warming up, you don't want to get tired. You don't want to exhaust yourself. So I'm going to do about eight reps here. This is very, very easy. Perfect form. And again, keep the same form. Whether you're going to do just the bar or if you're doing 350 pounds. What's going on, family? Today I'm going to show you guys three chest exercises that I use and that I've been using for years to help build and develop my chest. Uh, I get asked all the time, you know, individuals emailing me saying, you know, I think my lower chest is lagging or my inner chest is lagging, my upper chest is lagging. You have to develop your body to uh, perform compound movements, progressive overload, and get stronger for, and build your foundation before you really start tailoring your workout towards lagging muscle groups. So I'm going to show you guys the three staples in my chest uh, routine. I work chest about two times a week, and I'm going to show you guys. So first, flat bench press. I'm going to give you guys some tips. So number one is grip placement. A lot of times, you're going to see people gripping too wide. So you'll see people coming way out here, right? You, you'll, or you'll, see, you'll see people way in here doing like a close grip press. What I find best for me, right where the bar gets rough, I put my thumb right here, I extend it, I measure, and that is my grip, okay? Right here, thumb, extend my hand, measure, and that is my grip. After you have your grip, what I want you guys to do, come up, pull yourself up, and retract your back. Squeeze your traps together, and you wanna dig your traps when they're squeezed into the bench on the pad, okay? So get your grip, okay? From here, you come up, Squeeze your traps together, scap the retraction, lay it on the bench, and squeeze. You want to pinch your shoulders together. Plant your feet. You do not want, you don't want to be on your toes. By having your uh, heels on the, on the floor, it's going to allow you to create more leg drive, aka get a stronger bench press. Okay. Grip placement. Shoulder blades. Plant your feet. Plant your heels. Arch in your lower back. Slight arch in your lower back. Come up. Next thing you want to do, a lot of times I'm about to perform this incorrectly on purpose. You see people bench like this. Like this. I want you guys to focus on, bring your elbows towards your lats. Bring them towards your side. So when you breathe in, you want to get a big breath. So you're tucking your elbows right by your sides. By doing that, you're protecting your shoulder. You're giving your shoulder longevity. We're in this for the long run. So tuck your elbows in. Now as the sets get a little bit heavier, they are gonna come out a little bit, that's kind of natural guys, but just be sure you're not flaring out like this. Try to keep them pretty close to your body. So those are a few tips on the bench. Now follow me to exercise number two. Exercise number two, incline dumbbell bench press. Personally, I don't like staying in a very low rep range, meaning I don't like doing two, three, four, uh, reps with dumbbells simply because I feel like the risk of injury is a lot higher than using a barbell because you have to kick the weight back. If you're doing 130 pound dumbbells for you know three reps, um, I recommend possibly just going to an incline barbell just for safety reasons. So in, uh, for dumbbell work, I do like keeping the rep range between about I would say five to twelve. So here we go. Tips: kick the dumbbell back one at a time. Usually I go with my dominant side first. So I'll go right foot, kick, kick, okay? From here, plant your feet on the ground, uh, pinch your shoulder blades back together, here. Notice that my elbows are not flaring out like this. They're not like this, I have my elbows tucked, boom. Boom. Keep your butt on the bench. And by using dumbbells, guys, you can go really deep and get that 
really deep stretch. Get that chest going. Ah. 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 So, like I said, guys, anywhere from five to 12 reps on these. Keep that arch in the lower back. Keep your shoulder blades contracted and dig your traps into the bench. That's gonna give you that support to keep your elbows tucked in. Right there. Exercise number three. I'll show you guys a pec fly. Now, the reason I have this set up here, typically, this is a pec fly you'll see at a lot of gyms. You have different settings you can do, right? You can go all the way back here and then you can keep it kind of closer up. Now, personally, I like to keep it a little bit closer up because if you set it too far back, I'm gonna set it just for example, so you guys can see what I mean. If you set it too far back and you're coming here, and grabbing it like this, grabbing it like this, it's good because you can get a really good stretch, but then when you have to put it back, a lot of times you'll see injuries where people are trying to let the weight back and they kind of snap something, pull something in the chest. So I like to personally and recommend keeping it about the second to third notch, just so it's easier to put back and you can still get that full range of motion. So um, set the seat up to where I like having the uh, handlebars a little bit lower than my shoulder, just so when I'm coming here, I can have it lower than my chest and squeeze that chest really good. So grab the bars. So you see how much safer this is just grabbing them like that? Now, what's important here, a lot of times you see guys um, curl their arms like this, using a lot of bicep, a lot of bicep. Now, to activate the chest a little bit better, keep your arms straight, have a very slight bend in your elbow. You're gonna come here, keep your chest out. Notice I'm exhaling right here at the top, at the peak contraction. So breathe in, get that stretch, and breathe out. Squeeze right there. I also like to barely, barely touch these. You don't have to, if you're going here, it's kind of like this, doing these half reps. That's okay to do at the very end if you're just trying to squeeze out a few more. But for most of your reps, guys, keep that proper form. Chest out, exhale, and back down. Proper form is gonna give you better results over everything. So, pec fly, slight bend in the elbow, contract a little bit, set the seat to where you're a little bit lower so you can really squeeze right there. So those are my three tips for lagging chest, guys, the three exercises. So, like I said earlier, incorporate the main exercises. Uh, you can rotate between pec deck with flat dumbbell flies or incline dumbbell flies, but the general concept stays the same. Work on those compound movements, develop your chest, and after a few years of training and developing it, See where your weak points are. Don't train for six months and direct your training towards your inner chest or your lower chest. Develop it, see where you're at. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, click that like button, ChristianUseMind.com, probably never satisfied t-shirts, and I'll see you on the next video.